few days ago, one of the wildlife cameras picked up three generations of common warthogs entering the burrow just outside the front door of the house. They are a mother, last year's piglets, and this year's piglets. They share this burrow system with at least one group of porcupines, and they've been known to get stabbed by quills from time to time as well. You will see the mother entering the burrow backwards. This is perfectly normal as warthogs commonly reverse into burrows with the head facing the opening and then it's ready to burst out if necessary. Common warthogs aren't territorial but instead they occupy a home range and they may make use of different burrows throughout the range. This burrow system is in an old termite mound under a large bourbine tree and it has at least three working entrances that are used by both porcupines and warthogs. They tend to go to a burrow between sunset and dusk, but it's not always the same one. They have a few burrows around the neighborhood that I know of, and all of them being uh, former aardvark uh, burrows. They may also go to the burrow when it's really hot, which it has been for the last few days. Now, common warthogs live in groups called sounders, within which the females live with their young and with other females. I've not been able to tell for sure, but the last year's piglets that are still with the female seem to be females. Uh, there were two more, but they seem to have disappeared. This makes sense because females tend to stay in their birth groups while males leave but stay within the same home range. Sub-adult males associate with bachelor groups, but males live alone when they become adults. So I'll put more material together on warthogs as I go through and analyze the considerable library of video footage that the cameras have captured so far. Mm -hmm. 